Hello? What, what, what are you doing under the water? This is no time for a swim, people. <laughs> come, come on out. That's it. That's it. Come on out. That's it. Get yourself dry. <laughs> That's the fun of being on Creation Bay. There's lots of water. <laughs> Welcome to Creation Bay, people. Yeah. We're going to check out um, some of the builds. We're going to do a building ourselves. It's going to be fun. Oh, my gosh. I love this place. Yay! <laughs> start right from the beginning I thought I'd show you a little bit of world editing and a little bit of voxeling that I've been doing this build is a little bit different than the normal little house that I normally do <laughs> this is actually getting ready for the Halloween contests so I thought I'd give you some ideas and pointers of what I can do so while I'm clicking here I am actually thinking about making a big cavern now as you can see I've just covered it all with nether brick because I can <laughs> and I'm just adding here a little bit more of detail I want some, some stalactites and stagmites which would be really really good for this build um, and it's not all going to be this level as in this uh, material right now I'm just keeping it with the basic material and going to be colouring it in later on um, I find this is the best method of doing it rather than trying to put in all the textures and everything right now because all I want to focus on right now is form okay as you can see here I'm really trying to get a little bit more of a natural look happening <laughs> sometimes I get myself buried here whoops uh, so I'm just adding a little bit more around to the edges here and I'm going to be just smoothing it out later on but right now I'm just happy to just get that view you can see that I'm actually trying to get the view from the corner rather than just, you know, sort of, uh, you know, from the side. So that's going to be my focus point. So to do that, I'm really going to build up this area here, make it a little bit more of a uh, cavern at this stage. Here we go. I really want it to be interesting when you look inside from this view. At the moment, it's not so great. <laughs> Bit of a f oh, that's enough of that. <laughs> okay, so that was just using the world edit, which um, it's okay. But I prefer to get the old arrow out and do some work with that. So I'm going to make a ball. Yes. Um, it's going to be air and it's going to be about size 4. I just want to start breaking into the ground a little bit. So I'm just going to do that for a little while. Um, that means I can make this cavern that I'm making a little bit more uh, interesting. I think I'm going to totally cheat here and make it size 8. Really dig down a bit deeper as quick as I can. There we go. Now I think this might go outside the plot with voxeling, so I'm, I'm just going to be careful not to, you know, kind of destroy the um, outside areas. <laughs> so I'll just make some nice little holes here, just like that. And this is going to be the front area, so I'm going to actually break this down a little bit, I think. Have this more of a hole sort of area, like that. There. Yeah! Now, in my mind, this looks amazing. Oh, thank you, Zent. <laughs> yeah, it looks really amazing in my mind, but we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see if this is going to work. Oh, yeah. Alright, so you can see there, it's just like, you know, cheese at the moment. Just a whole lot of melon balls that have been taken, scooped out. Which is not good, so we're going to now blend ball it. Okay. I'm having glass and having a bit of trouble with this internet. No. <laughs> and here we go. We're just blending it a bit to try and get rid of some of those obvious signs that um, we've been doing a lot of editing with um, spears. 
Okay, so from here we're going to do a little bit of a speed build. <laughs> this is so time. So I'm using the blend tool here to blend it as much as I possibly can. It doesn't matter if I lose some of the detail or make holes or, <laughs> as you can see, ruin the uh, <clears throat> plot side there. I can fix that later. Right, what I'm trying to do is really hide any sort of evidence that I've been naughty with the uh, tool there. Alright, now that I've done that, I'm going to start making Mr. Cuddles. Now I figured the best way to do that is just to use white wool for now because I can change that to any kind of texture I want later on. And I really want to be able to see the contrast of what I'm doing with the Mr. Cuddles compared to the actual cabin. At the moment, I'm just going to use marshmallow clumping. <laughs> just sort of work out the basic structure of the shape of the, the uh, body here. And sort of figure out where I want things. Here is actually the start of the shoulder. Now I'm going to put the arm in. It's a very thick arm at the moment, but we'll work on that later. Now I'm putting in a bit of the shoulder blade. And thinking about where I'm going to put the head. So right now I'm going to put in the basic structure of the second arm, which is going to be just down underneath. Now it's time to do some blending. I'm going to blend this as much as we possibly can. Here's the back, so I want this as flat as possible. Bit of the tush tush there. <laughs> so it's working rather well. The arm gets a bit derpy here, but that's okay. Got plenty of time to work on that. Right now, all I want is basically the structure there. Absolutely love the blend tool. It does take away a lot of sins there. There we go. There's a straight of a, nut, a leg coming out there, and that's going to look fine. Okay. Again, not really concerned too much about the structure. I mean, look, I almost just lost his arm there. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly put in some extra little balls there, size 2, just to build it up again a bit where I lost a bit of his uh, flesh. Yeah, I was happy with that, just for now. Then I had to think about where I'm going to put the head and how big. So, after playing with the arm a little bit, we start looking at that. First way is just to make a sphere. So I made a wall sphere. And I made size 6, so that's 12 across, <laughs> unstuck myself, and had a quick look. And I'm quite happy with the placement, but I think it's just a bit too circular, and I'd rather him to have a long sort of face. So what I'm going to do here is just break into it a little bit, put in some more, and a longer face is what I wanted. So I'm really quite happy with that. Now, starting to think about some of the structure here. Now I suddenly realized that working with white wool is not going to give me the best detail to see what I'm doing. So I'm replacing the wool with 98 which gives me a better sort of um, idea of what I'm doing. Just in default anyway. Playing around with the size of the head here. Really not sure exactly what I'm looking for at this stage. But I'm thinking I'm going to use a little bit of the bottom sphere to make a bit of an overbite. Okay, so a little bit of overbite here is going to look pretty good, I think. Not really quite sure how it's going to go. <laughs> but we'll just give him a bit of a jawline. I'm really not quite sure where this is the direction I want to go with him. Um, whether I want him to look silly, you know, derpy looking. Or do I want to make him more sinister? So I'm not sure this is the way their face is going to end up. We shall see how it goes. But at the moment, just working on where the teeth would go. And a little bit of the jaw structure. Again, keeping it very, very simple. Okay. 
So now I'm just going to come and work a little bit on this arm, which is annoying me. And I really want to um, start working on the anatomy a little bit. Getting a bit of an armpit happening there. Holding breath, of course. <laughs> There we go. Again, not finishing it off complete, just getting an indication. So now I decided to work full time on the arm here. And that proved to be a little bit annoying because it is on a diagonal angle um, across and a diagonal angle down. So it's not exactly smooth. <laughs> but I worked out a little way of sort of getting around that. And that I will use as soon as I clean up this little area a bit manually. Not happy jam with it at this stage. If you're Australian, you understand that reference. <laughs> then I decided I'm going to use a line. <laughs> but I stop up here. <laughs> Whoops. I forgot to get an arrow so I quickly go get an arrow and start using the line tool now the line tool is really handy just draws straight lines from one place to another and I used wool again what the heck and you could always change it later so now I can draw straight lines from one point to the other and hopefully that will give me a, a smoother looking arm later on So now I start working on the fingers, not realising of course that I was building the thumb on the wrong side, but that's okay. It, was a, it wasn't until I was completely finished when I realised. I blame it being um, midnight on a Friday night trying to build. <laughs> okay, so there's the, the fingers starting to appear now. Trying to work out the widths and, and direction and all of that sort of thing. They're not easy. But the really good thing about monsters is, well, they can be any shape and form. So <laughs> I can kind of cheat here and still, still make it look pretty good. Did you notice that? I broke into the other plot. Oh yes. So I decided at one point there to claim that plot and make it my own. Fleshing out the um, palm of the hand there, or the back of the hand rather. Checking all the time to see if I got it right. Realising, of course, this thumb is not meant to be there. Well, maybe this this monster was a bit, you know, backwards, but that's okay. Trying to get the fingers right, and at some point here, I realise I'm a derp. Not yet, obviously. I decided I'd better fix up that um that road before somebody saw it. <laughs> And I also wanted it to go underneath the hand, so I was able to just quickly fix it up there. So now it looks like he's holding it. And now I check my own hand, compare it to it, and realise the thumb is in the wrong place. Oops. However, because I've made it pretty uniform, it was very easy to just quickly put in a thumb down here and remembering that this is all still very basic shaping I haven't put in any um, slabs or stairs or anything to make the um, design smoother yet Still trying to get the idea of where that finger might go. And 
<laughs> not really happy with it yet. Okay, so there you go. There's Mr. Cuddle so far. I will stop it there and continue that next episode. As you can see, we've got quite a bit done this episode. Mr. Cuddle's coming out of his lair, which we will decorate later on. Uh, we've got the basic shape of the creature. A lot of work to be done on it yet. I mean, that's quite still quite derpy. Uh, we've got a basic shape of the head, which will, I think, change a heck of a lot. Uh, so until next time, from Mr. Cuddles and I, bye! <laughs>